big thing for um, that just happened literally right before we uh, got going recording this night that I wanted to go ahead and talk about, which we haven't talked about in a long time over here is Clay Nation. The oh, yeah. claymates. Pretty, pretty big thing. Yeah. So, big. you know, nothing, nothing yeah. little, this minor little version too. Yeah, this their, clay, uh, paper their clay paper is amazing. So Clay Nation over here, which is obviously they're, uh, you know, a huge, huge project, you know, you know, considered a blue chip inside this uh, Cardano NFT community. They're that stop motion, like claymate, um, like clay uh, animation that they do a lot, you know, back early in the day for under claymates. And then they released their 10 K version of those as clay nation. Um, so the individual profile picks that you see everybody have, and I've rocked one, TJ's rocked one. Um, you know, it's, it's been a staple inside it. You, you rock a clay, you're held in like prestige, just like a, a category for sure. Um, and I think their floor is sitting at like a 1700 ADA floor still right now, yep. which has been continuing to go up. But, uh, the big thing, which they, they had met, they had mentioned, they talked about their clavers and all these different things that they were, they were working to build. Um, today they went ahead and actually elaborated on that inside the actual clay paper, the version two, uh, of itself. So TJ, I know you said you got a chance to check it out. Um, Tom, I know kind of, this is one for you where you, you still haven't got into the clays yet. Um, but we're, I don't know where if that four is coming anywhere down anytime soon, uh, for you. So it might be better to grab at least the good <laughs> Charlotte one. Can't see it happening. Even <laughs> that one, they've been holding strong too. I mean, that's such a dedicated community, uh, I'm just I so surprised that people. the good Charlie ones are so low, though, in comparison. I think they're going to continue to go up now because they mentioned some good utility inside of this. So what, one, one of the cool things, which you've seen their profile picks all over, but they've added to their core team over here. It used to just be, you know, the, like Lena, um, the guy Joe, who does all like the stop motion animation. Um, uh, Izzy over there, another one of the founders, the guy Vladimir. And it looks like I think these two are recently added. This uh, Laura, who's a community manager for human resources, and then it's, uh, Sammy, who's a experimental design and 3D reality visualizer. So they're helping out with some of the, like the, the 3D modeling and stuff like that. So they've added to their core team already. So as they've continued to grow, um, and they kind of give you a little bit of a history over here as far as like the claymates. You know, claymates are you know not to be resold basically um you know they're only only things you can really do with these or just kind of sell them but any kind of any outside of that they don't grant you any permission to resell any of this stuff this is kind of like their their, their kind of baby over here the clay nations are a little different these are the one of one uh characters so you're able to you know if i want to print a t-shirt of a, my clay nation i can do that as long as i don't have the clay nates or clay mates or clay nation logo in there so it's a little bit of a difference versus the, the clay mates versus the clay nation. And everything seems to be centered around the clay nation drop itself. This is where all the metaverse stuff is going to happen between the clay nation and the good Charlotte. Um, so they kind of give you a little bit of background about what these are, you know, what they look like, kind of give you the release of, you know, they did that huge drop back in the day with good Charlotte, which is crazy. Just the fact that a band got to partner with these guys. Um, and they were a one-to-one -one mint with the 10,000 of the clays and only 9,428 were minted for those. So a little less supply. I wouldn't even um, say only though. Like that's still impressive that they got oh, that much for it. I thought that was great. I mean, yeah, it was, I remember around, it was, it was right around like Halloween. Right. And we were just like sitting there on a Sunday and I was like, all right, I did mine. I sent mine in like super early and I got that red clay. And then you were sitting there like, all right, when am I going to send mine in? We were you're just waiting. Right. I was uh, like, screw it. I'll just send it now. Yeah, and everybody, it was cool to see all of them because all of them look so good. Uh, yeah. so, like super, su super awesome. And it, like all the, all these look amazing. Like every single one of these things, they're, they're just, they're so unique. Again, they like the celebrity deathmatch style, like just the clay is, is unique in the space. Um, Instantly but, recognizable. That's one of my favorite things. There is no like, oh, this, you know, looks like oh, yeah. this. Or this. It's just like, oh, these are clays. Like they're all, you know, if you see that profile picture, that's just, that's a clay. That's like the space buds, you know, they not comparing like how big they are in the actual Cardano space, just their, their image, their profile picture is one of a kind. It, for it's sure. instantly yeah. recognizable. Everyone knows the name of the project. They know what's going on. And they know exactly. Yeah. What, you know, mm -hmm. you're, you get held in a definitely prestigious like uh, category for having one of those. And the big thing that they're doing right now is, you know, turning, you're working on turning your, your, your clay right now, your NFT into a 3d avatar. Um, a lot of the big announcement was, you know, the guys are going to get, you know, your clays are going to get legs. Uh, that was the big thing. So right now they're working, you know, to get every, they're building all the assets in 3D right now to be able to, you know, you're basically going to be able to connect your wallet um, via NAMI or CC vault and be able to download your 3D model of like your character um, into, into the, like, into their, their metaverse to start. And 
the cool thing, what they're going to eventually do is going to allow you, they're working on being able to allow you to carry your clay nation into other metaverses or other worlds too, not just stay inside of the clay nation. Well, I like the AR and VR functionality because if it's AR, like I can put my clay in my office right now, just let them just chill in the back or something. Right. Yeah. That's, that's an always, like, it's cool. The functionality that they're, they're trying to make with these things because the 3d models on these things do look really nice. Like they've done a really good job at those. Um, one thing to notice though, is that, you know, once they actually do the actual 3d versions of these for the clay nation, the 10,000, then they're going to start working on the clay nation and good Charlotte ones. So they're not doing all of them right away. Um, originally these were estimated for a uh, February release, but due to significant improvements, um, to the models, I guess the estimated delivery has been changed to March now. Um, so they're just still designing the actual website and UI and to be able to connect to all this, to turn your guy into 3d. Um, so well, that's definitely interesting. Hearing that they're doing it with the good Charlotte ones too. That's cool. I didn't even, I never mm -hmm. expected them to. I just thought that was like a fun well, side collab. If you had a good, or if you had a clay, you could get one of those and you have a cool little part of your project. Kind of like the Spoopies or the, the Holiday Nerus. Well, the, the one big thing about it, why, why they're doing the good Charlottes as well, is the Clay Nation holders and the good Charlotte holders will be the first po uh, to populate and test the areas within the Clayverse, which is the village for the Clay Nations and then the Underworld for the good charlottes so they have a, a whole separate area for the good charlotte clays so even if you don't hold a ten thousand clay nation you can still access the underworld with the the good charlotte one so it's going to be and I, I mean i'm sure you might be able to access the you know the village too i'm almost but i don't know the details of that but you can even see like you know so either whether you hold one or the other you can still be able to utilize it inside their clay verse um and this That's is interesting cool. So it's interesting too, right? You can start to see the 3D modeling. Like these look really nice too. Like some, oh, yeah. of, the, some of the stuff. So they're doing a great job with, I think they're building it in Unreal. Um, oh, they're they're uh, like metaverse and stuff like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be, a, you know, the, the Clay Nation Clayverse is going to inclusive place to hang out, explore virtual themed environments built and molded by a population, which is you. Um, so I guess basically, you know, it's going to open up to all, everybody who holds, um, you know, these clays. And I guess they're eventually going to host virtual events, music, dance, meditation, education, and accessible to both NFT and guest pass holders. So eventually down the line, even if you don't hold one, it seems like you're going to be able to get in there as well. Um, and then continuing to go on, you know, they're going to um, be able to do their actual like land sale. I know, TJ, you were talking about this, right? The pitches. Yeah, I can't wait to get one of those. So yeah, they're going to be doing different ones. They had the what the tents, the pitches, and I think there was something else. Um, tree and houses? A tree house, maybe. Yeah, tent, forest lodge, and tree house. Yeah, the, that's um, the pitches are. I guess they're land called. Yeah, the and it's a, in a sense. And a cool, interesting thing is, um, you know, after after they launch the avatars, the or avatars, the pitches, I guess, are going to go on sale, and approximately thirty percent of the total pitches will be reserved for Clay Nation and Good Charlotte holders for a limited time period. So. Any allocated pitches for holders that are not sold within the time frame will be added to this, uh, you know, the public mint on that. So different, three different varieties between the tent, forest lodge, and treehouse that they have, um, which is very interesting. And you know, yeah, I love how everything's just built in clay. Like the details on these are super fun, and uh, it'd be interesting. Like, yo, do I have a treehouse? Do I have a tent? Like, where where am I going? They call it what? the forest lodge. I wonder if the mint will be random, like a normal, a normal NFT, like or or there's different price ranges for the tent, the forest lodge, and the treehouse. Or, mm -hmm. or you know what i'm saying like i mean i'm assuming the treehouse would be worth more because there's more stuff in there but if it's a, it's a randomized mint that'd be great too that's more rare than yeah i don't know that's actually a good question and i'm sure obviously we'll get some answers on that but that would make yeah right like if you get one of those are bigger than the other like who knows how big that could be inside of there right they can yeah. do whatever they want um but the cool thing i guess is what they're they're looking to utilize the capabilities of multi-sig transactions which is like what dirt birds and all these guys are doing so you know you pay your ada and you get your nft back with it right away so i a love triangle. that i yeah it's like a triangle yeah right it's just yeah well, who was explaining that uh, Zushan from, that's all i can think know, of was just, that scene from uh from i love our chuck and larry, chuck and larry. he's like yeah it's not like a triangle it's like a circle yeah, that's I guess, all i could yeah. think of but i mean that's a perfect yeah. explanation when you showed it like that of how you know kind of at least the simplest way for i so i can understand right. it you just go um, boom boom and for, yeah, yeah that multi it out. that definitely seems like everyone's it's just it just works so much better it's been shown that it worked well with the dirt birds you know they got through their couple of issues that they had kind of with the website going down some congestion mm -hmm. and stuff but it, it's just the way to go for sure and make sure things run smooth yeah well and, and going forward too it's going to be nice like as more and more of this to, you know the technology comes online the dApps come online for cardano how much easier everything's going to get so 
I think we're we eventually when Hydra and everything starts to scale too, it's going to be, you know, obviously a different level. Oh, yeah. um, but moving on to the big thing that they announced um, was that the clay has their own stake pool. Uh, I think they had originally had it been doing it for over a year under the ticker music um, before and now it's changed to clay. Um, so, and I guess this is going to kind of give you, I don't know if it's like the governance of their own, like kind of their own clay kind of like Dow in, in this aspect where holders can exercise voting rights and key decisions to the clay ecosystem and the expected delivery of the clay tokens may of this year in 2022. And it looks like they're gonna have a two and a half billion, uh, clay tokens that are going to be minted, but the total supply will be uh, finite yet circulating supply will be managed initially. Um, and it kind of gives you the breakdown of all the different allocation of the token for this different clay. Um, so kind of, you know, like Pavia akin to certain things like that. If you know, holders are going to be able you know, 20% of that stuff is going to be hit, sent out to holders and there's going to be a reward, like a reward period to be able to actually like, you know, claim that stuff, um, and be able to, you know, and if eventually, I guess if there, if an NFT owner changes, like you sell your clay to somebody, that guy can then, if you have any unclaimed clay rewards for tokens like that, that person then kind of rolls over to yours as well. So it shifts as the NFT owner changes. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. That's crazy. I, I missed that part. That's cool. Yeah. So that's definitely interesting. And then all, all those claymates, the season ones at the pet store, Papa's Garage, Mystery Mates, all those different, you know, the bonus ball, clay balls, clay fellows will be rewarded annually with a set amount of clay tokens per NFT. Wow. So that's interesting too. So the, the, they give value back to the season one and season two, which I think I still hold uh, the clay fellows. Um, I was going to say, if you have like a whole deck of clay fellows or something like that, that's yeah. not too bad. Oh, well, they actually, they touched base on that here too. So eventually I guess you're going to be able to stake to by the clay pool and that clay pool um, is going to be able to get you, earn you clay if you're inside of their clay stake pool. Um, you know, depending on how much ADA you have there and how long it's, how many epics it was staked for, you'll be able to actually claim some clay um, from that as well. And then I guess uh, this, you also from owning some of the land plots too, you're going to get distributed some of that clay token, depending on, you know, what you have as well. Um, so there's different, a diff, bunch of different ways to use that clay token, similar to kind of like maybe a yummy or however it is. So that's what a lot of these different metaverses and different projects and stuff are starting to do is make their own like native token to be able to use like in-game asset to purchase whatever it is for them. Um, but it's, it's just interesting to me, like, you know, as, as they're starting to grow, the cool thing too, like, obviously we haven't really touched base on this or more on the CNFT side of this, but is the, you know, smaller stake pools. I know everybody's kind of getting wrecked right now by like the, the Sunday swap. swap. Yeah. Yeah. The ISO, like everybody's delegating to only the, you know, the pools that were, you know, going to get you your Sunday token. So as those epics and everything start to end, everybody's starting to find their way back into the smaller stake pools. And that's why they're trying to incentivize you to two stake with them, you know, so they're not out here like losing money or anything like that, but they're going to be giving away a bunch of different uh, airdrops to people too who, who actually stake with clay wow so you're two clay nation nfts three good charlotte ones a rat's dow nft five liquid three thousand pavia a thousand sunday 250 milk uh three hundred dollars in merch and five hundred dollars in that world uh I forget the name of that token is wmt um so that's that's interesting too like they're incentivizing you to come hang out stake there and they're going to reward you and it's it's so if you're invested in clay like there's a lot of uh opportunity here for you to do different things um, and if they've really started to flesh this out and, and go, and they even now have a waiting system inside for the community voting. So if you hold a clay nation, you have two votes that waits out to a, a good Charlotte, one vote, anything, you know, the season one, one vote, and then any extras like the little frogs, the New York hard, clay, fork. hard fork, any of those guys. Yeah. You get the point two vote as well. So it's going to be it's definitely interesting. Um, and they're looking to even implement smart contract voting. So they're going to have like their oh, own DAO. That's that's very cool. Like I love I love what they're doing. I know they did have a vote inside the actual verified chat where they you know they voted against um, you know prioritizing a marketplace right now for them. So that was the first one, and people voted against that. So that was interesting. Um, you know, and even as we move down towards the back end, the clay fellows, which we had talked about earlier, Tom. Oh yeah, that's and, cool. I like that. Like, they're gonna do physical card decks uh, of these, um, and uh, you know, I've been, or people who, if you don't, if you have the full set, you get a free one. If you yeah, have dope. some of these, you're gonna have early access to purchase this stuff, um, and they're gonna be working with NFT uh, Link again to go ahead and get you that, uh, you know, the little uh, that's like the hoodie that I just got. You know, where you're able to like scan it and reference it back to whatever you have, um, and then eventually they're moving into game nights too um, for for people who have the the Clayfella holders. Um, they're going to start game nights in early March 
um, with the whole community open for prizes are going to be only exclusively accessible to clay fellow holders out there. So I love saying that, you know, like getting people together outside of just maybe on discord and on Twitter all the time and, and kind of doing some more activities outside the NFT world, which is probably mm -hmm. good for some of us. Cause you know, this takes up so much time sometimes, like you said, Tommy, like <laughs> you've replaced your gaming with your tavern squad gaming. Like that's, that's sure. become everything. So it, it's nice to kind of see them, you know, take it at the community and get together and do other things besides just talk about, you know, the future and the NFTs and what's, what's going the floor? on. Yeah, so, was, yeah, exactly. Just anything, <laughs> just, add, just not NFTs for once, a different topic. Yeah. You get to enjoy and just hang out with the community and I don't nearly yeah. hang out in the discord as much as I wish I would um, for clays, but it's, it's cool. It's a good, it gives you a reason to come back in. Um, so even looking at this too, they're even like doing like, I guess, virtual nights for like blackjack and poker tournaments too, that they're working on trying to get people into. Um, and then the big other part of this outside of the clay verse and all the staking stuff is the clay buds. Mm -hmm. So they actually back in the day did a collaboration with space buds. So you take claymates and space buds, two of the biggest projects inside of Cardano on the NFT space and uh, combine those things. They, they did a drop last last year for these and the floor price for these have, have shot up. I think they were over like two, 2,000 ADA at one Damn. point. I can imagine they're probably more now. Um, but interesting enough is that they're doing a second drop over here. Um, and then inside of this, I think, yeah, June, June 17th of 2021, they went ahead and dropped 569 clay buds and 88 berry bonus uh, buds as well in there. And that was just kind of to celebrate. So now on March 23rd of this year, they're going to offer a community vote for the final installment of Clay Buds, where they're going to recreate um, either 880 or 88 different editions for 850 total Clay Buds that are out there. Um, and you're going to be able to vote for the different type of ape, tiger, dog, parrot, archine, rhino, frog, bear, all, basically all the different uh, space, space buds, buds that are out yeah. there. Um, and then the priority, there's priority given to um, holders of the previous clay buds, so including the berry. So if you have your guaranteed access to buy a part two clay bud on a one to one basis, so 657 in total for 12 hours. So that being said, if, if you know, if everybody claims one, right, what is that? That's a little less than like what 193 uh, NFTs up for grabs. Like oh, it, for public you mean afterwards yeah right? yeah, yeah if, if everybody yeah, claims number. it yeah mm -hmm. so if everybody claims it who own the one the one i can't so, yeah. imagine everyone's not too i mean uh, right uh, without some like you know just people that have had other circumstances or something come up or you know not in cardano anymore they forgot about it and never looked back and saw what they had but uh man can you imagine the people who don't but i these things are going to definitely go off you know so yeah so, so great I, I would be super jealous i would love to get one of these things and i unfortunately i'm priced out right now as you know unless i make some great sales here soon uh on a clay buds but congrats to anybody who owns one because you'll be able to get a second one here uh, coming up soon so um, and eventually what they're going to do with the remainder of those, I guess they're going to do another sale using the raffle to determine the clay list priority for select space buds and claymates season one and two holders. Um, so looks like in order to actually get a mint one of these, you either need to hold a, a clay buds or a berry or hold an existing uh, clay nation season one or two. So he, he, nobody who doesn't own anything is not going to be able to mint this. So yeah, you're saying there's a so. chance. So you got you got a chance over there, but it's going to be on the raffle portion of that. But I know that's a huge thing that people have been asking for right now. So definitely interesting coming up on March 23rd of this year. Um, and one of the last things that they had inside of this paper itself was, um, I guess they're delighted. They have a, a partnership with ISM, ISM, ISM Toys. I don't know how to read ISM Toys. Um, and they're going to make custom one-of-one -one toys and models for artists and NFTs. And I guess they have a big Ethereum focus, this company. Um, and this is going to be the first Cardano like portal um, for Clay Nation and Clay Nation Good Charlotte, where holders can connect their wallet and purchase a custom-made, uh, custom hand-painted model of their NFT, um, which is very, very good quality, too. You can see a lot of the board apes in here. So I think that's interesting, right? Like these guys are, they're going to be the first ones for Cardano. They're going to literally make a, a, a section of their website to be able to connect with Cardano wallets uh, in order to do this. That's so, awesome. Yeah. And then you have a little, you know, model for your desk sitting right there, a little physical, you know, I'm going to get my blue copy. Your guy. Yeah, for sure. I was going to say some people, like I know there's some that have their clays, they're not selling no matter what, that's their clay. So yeah, you get that finally, you know, an actual permanent physical piece. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, it's definitely it's, it's it's dope that they're pushing the barrier, right? They're breaking barriers for Cardano too, because everything's all Ethereum focused. So these guys are actually holding for the Cardano side. Yeah, that's huge. So. That's awesome. Amazing. Um, and then lastly, they had to shout it out here, and I know Fet Fet was uh, Fettuccini was super super excited about this. Is that these guys? You know, they're honored. They're an official airdrop partner for the Angel Baby Hit Squad, Clay Nation, and Claymates. Um, so definitely going to be seeing an Angel Baby airdrop from clay nation um later this year and i have no idea when that is but i'm definitely curious to see how clay interprets the angel baby hit squad um i can imagine that those will probably do pretty well in secondary too i was out to pick up in secondary i'd imagine it's going to be made of clay you think so you said that, a little clay. that's a good assumption you got there well, it'll what be cool did, seeing like, those i mean there, there you go that'll be my finally first clay that i'll be getting is through my yeah. uh, i mean that's Part of the big reason why I got into Angel Baby Hit Squad was just for these these airdrops and who they partnered up with. So the Clay one, I mean, that's pretty much, you know, Space Buds, Clay, that's that's right there at the top of the list. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's, shout out to the Angel Baby Hit Squad for even being able to secure that partnership with uh, with Clay Mates. That's it's definitely a prestigious, uh, you know, collaboration right there. So shout out to, uh, you know, Fettuccini and the guys mm-hmm. as well. And then they kind of end the last of this stuff over here is just more merchandise that they have currently on their website, different clay uh, stuff that you can go ahead and buy. Um, and then they kind of tease down here, lastly, the marketing and partnerships. Um, you know, they, they're, they're looking to build great relationships and stuff going forward, but it says, we hope to announce an upcoming exciting long-term partnership by April, details of which will remain confidential until our agreement is final. Um, so is, I don't know what that that's is. That's a spicy tease. Like, what could right? that be? Oh. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm curious because like that could like change the game for these things, right? Like you think you could think they're a little like pricey right now, but some some big announcement happens, these guys could shoot up into another level too. Um, so again, look at I love how they have a little asterisk right here, the little start. So don't, <laughs> don't, don't even try our lips are sealed. sealed. Yeah, That's, for sure. <laughs> That's dope. I didn't know. Oh, damn, now I really want to know. Like, come on, you can't just just leave this page off. Don't be an ass. Yeah, right? Why they leave? Why they include this? <laughs> yeah, they did that. Just they had to give you a little, just a little spring. Yeah, one hundred percent. Oh man. Yeah. And then uh, lastly, too, over here, some events. They're going to be at CNFTCon, um, the team over at Clay Nation. So hopefully, we'll get a chance to meet them and uh, say hi. And uh, they're going to have a nice big booth out there. It's going to be awesome. Um, they're going to be at Rare Bloom, which is another Cardano community event out in October in Colorado. Um, they have a London meetup that they're looking to do. Oh, that's of, like, awesome. Out in March and April, and I know they did do one, or even Brussels. It looks like as well. Um, and I know oh, they, yeah. let's go to Belgium. Let's do there that. There you go. That'd be fun. Right. And oh, I know yeah. they, they did do a meetup inside of New York city earlier in the year in January. So they, they, it was a cool event. I saw some stuff on Twitter for that. So definitely engaging with the community. Um, lots to come on Clayverse, uh, clay buds, clay staking pool, um, and some partnerships and merch that they're going to be doing. There's a lot, a lot of stuff to pack in here. So, um, Shout out to Clay Nation, Clay Mates. These guys are and girls are, are amazing inside the space. I love the fact that this uh, this project is actually run. You know, the founders are are two women inside the space, which you don't, you know, it, you know, it's it probably a primi- primarily like dominated like male industry for sure. I'd imagine uh, for NFTs for sure. Just I yeah, mean, I know like the media are uh, like computer uh, kind of media in general is so that would make sense. Um, yeah, I think they're these. actually from. I think they, if I remember correctly, they may live in Belgium or something. So I remember seeing them one time talk about vacationing and enjoying the weather in Portugal and kind of getting away from the uh, the weather over in Belgium during the winter. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, that I'm pretty sure that someone in the team or part of their team does live in uh, Belgium. Yeah. Or I, I think you're right. It's something along those lines right That's there. That's a huge so. clay paper though, man. They always right. bring it. They don't, they don't just bring in like, Hey, so this is kind of where we're at. And here's like a page of like some goals that we have. Like they, no, it's like, we're just going like to shut this down right now. Information. Yeah. Yeah.